right, so tell us what you're showing off of uh, Just Cause 2 here at E3 this year. We, ha we have a completely new demo, which is unique for E3, spe made specifically for the E3. And it's uh, about 20 minutes long, so it's quite action-packed. We uh, show off a few, a little bit of free roaming gameplay first. We're going to Military Harbor Base, causing some chaos in the special Rico way, which involves a lot of parachuting, a lot of moving around, using the grab milk a lot to move around and to take out the bad guys there. And then we show off part of a mission, which, uh, which is mostly a long chase where we need to protect this agency informant called Blaine during a really action-packed, high-speed uh, car chase. And it's not like a normal car chase, so it's really, really, really free and really dynamic. So you have a lot of opportunity to play around, test around Rika's new vehicle stunts and how the grapnel plays out during a car chase as well. There are a lot of things you can do. Actually, when we show this demo, that we always come to think of stuff afterwards. Oh man, we forgot to show that. We forgot to show that because there's so much to do. Because you really have a lot of freedom to work out your own tactic and style for this. For example, you can quickly get from vehicle to vehicle by using a stunt jump and by using the grappling hook. And when you get there, you can climb around the vehicle to take cover from enemy fire. And from that position, you can also use your weapons. You can play C4 on the roof of vehicles. And what we do in the demo, we use the grappling hook to get a car away before we set it off so we can stay out of the away from the explosion. And uh, there's also a lot of blood and it's, it's not really, I think it's like a, a semi-realistic style, is that something you aim for? Yeah, definitely. I mean, realists have never been our main concern for this because it's, it's a lot of ideas that we come to think of is uh, simply because it would be like, we think it would be fun to play and then we try it out. At first, maybe we're hesitant because can we really do that because it's a bit over the top. And then when we try it out, it's, it turns out to be just fun. And yeah, then we have to use it. I think it's really important to get, you know, the player into a state of mind where he really grasps that this is, Panau really is one huge playground for you to cause chaos and you can really just explore the world, play around in it or whatever you want to do. So that's, I think that's the mindset that we need to get to the players and that's part of the communication of the game. And that's you, you, so you just don't run around and shoot, you know? No, you no, I mean, I mean, you can do that if you want to as well, but I think if you want to complete the game that way, it's going to be difficult, it's going to take you a long time because uh, that doesn't cause, cause enough chaos. So, yeah, I mean, it's, I think when you start the game, you start small, I mean, on a quite small scale. And uh, as it costs more chaos, you're going to get more influence and new stuff for you to do is going to start popping off. So it's sort of drip feeds new things. And then you realize that, oh man, I can really explore this in any way I want. So I think the experience for each player is going to be different because one player, depending on where he explores the world and what activities he chooses to do, it's going to be a different experience. And that's really interesting. I mean, that's part of, of this freedom that you have. I think that's important when we have this huge world. Yeah. And the main concern for us has been to really, really make it full of things to do and then give you a lot of freedom to, to, to play around there. Exactly, because the, the player sort of creates his own experience in that. Yeah, I think that's important because if it's too linear, it becomes, you get a lot of transportations between things to do and so then the size starts to work against us instead. But I mean, this way we really think size is a big plus for us. So being big is good. But th that means that the structure has to be has has to be created to adapt it to that. We're pretty much uh, feature complete. So polish is what we're working on a lot now. Getting the polish there, getting the, all the communication to the player working. So that's definitely a result of of, uh, of that work. So that's what we keep doing now.